have found an incredible coach to show you today. I'm lucky enough to be hanging out with Frank Connick, Setter with Liberty Coach. How you doing today, sir? Excellent, how are you? Excellent, and I'm really excited to see this coach that's behind you right now. What are we looking at? This is a 2019 quad slide. This coach actually never made it to the dealership. It was finished. It went from North Chicago to Las Vegas to the Prevost Proud Rally. Oh, it's two years ago now coming up and uh, was sold as soon as we got there. So it never ever saw the dealership until we got it back here. Dean Louts here everybody, nice to see you again. Andrew, thanks for having us sponsor today's video. My newest series of paintings is called Turtle Mode. You hear about them being endangered and they're protected and you fall in love with something and you know it's made for you and then you really want to push the limits and make it better and better. That's where I'm at. I'm slowing down and just focusing on something that means a lot to me right now. If you'd like to buy a painting, contact 574-522-8838 and the shop will get you in touch with me and I'd love to talk to you personally about it. It's got 23 or 24,000 miles on it. This is, if you follow the website and follow us, this is one of the new look interiors. So I'm pretty excited that we can show one to you. I've got to ask the hard questions. Why would someone want to trade in or sell such a beautiful coach? I mean, this is brand new and you don't even have any 21s or 20s available. Right. So this is probably the new, either this or the other 2019 I filmed are the newest Liberty coaches available to the market right. right now. Why would someone want to get rid of such a nice coach? Well, you know, there might be some new stuff that we're doing that they may want to have, take advantage of. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Ink on our quads too is, now the uh, TV is part of the body. Oh, okay, so a different design TV. Is that only right. on quad only slides? Only on quads, yep. So you don't have to, because otherwise with the way that these doors are being hidden the way they are, there's really no way to pull a TV out without having the bay still open. So we decided to do this a little bit differently. So it's actually part of the body. So the door was cut back here and then we added another beam in the coach, another vertical beam, and then did our slide in and out TV arrangement. That way you can have all the bays closed, you have the TV on, the sound bars on the bottom. So. Yeah, and that was really effortless, even though it's a quad slide, this slide is very tall so it makes it very easy to just reach right in. I don't know if you've ever touched on that or not, but one thing that people need to look at pretty seriously is on the Prevo slides, how everything is rounded. It's not like on the stuff that you see on the Class A industry or other stuff that's out there that when you walk into it, you're gonna split your head open. Or if you're underneath it and you get up too hard, you're gonna split your head open. There is none of that. It's all finished. There's those stainless bezels there. On a quad slide here, you've still got uh, the two bays that are pretty much open. Uh, this coach has the uh, tool drawer, unique to Liberty Coach, as opposed to having a box taking up a bay. More storage here, the drawers. Everything's all finished, top, sides, insides, everything's all finished. There's even a little bit of space up here to put stuff if you'd like. On the quad, we have the slide-out trays are going to be on both sides just because of how, it, how the arrangement is underneath. We talked about on other coaches how you saw the gussets on the driver's side of the coach, and I mentioned that on the quad, you'd see it on both sides. So both sides, 24 inches in, are going to be these gussets running the length of the uh, bays. And I've got to point out that even on the insides of these bays, that that ghosting continues and the paint job is just it, it literally is a piece of artwork okay there's another part of it that we pushed as well is that it's finished so when you run your hands back on the back side of this thing there's nothing sharp here oh yeah it's all sanded it's all finished back in here nice wow second bay still open pass through storage above drawers, chairs mounted on the back of the doors. We've seen the TV come out of here. The third bay, very similar storage drawers, refrigerator. Storage 
here. All the finish work that we do, this doesn't come on the Prevo chassis. This is all made by Liberty Coach and applied, polished, so it all looks finished. I had mentioned earlier that we gained a little bit of real estate in the coach when we did the Volta system. So what ended up happening was we were able to increase the size of the water heater. So we've got a 40 gallon water heater. We have our tankless water heater to the shower valve as we always have had for the last five, almost going on six years. The Culligan water treatment system, stainless steel fresh water tank, aluminum holding tank. We got our stainless steel box, storage box that we make. It's vented as well to keep it dry. So if you want to put hoses, extra cords, belts, oil cans, whatever you want to do back here. Separate shore power input. So in case something goes wrong with the cord reel on the other side, you have the ability to plug the coach in on this side of the coach to get shore power. We've got an outlet here for a trailer. So if you want to power up your stacker trailer or your trailer that you're pulling, while you're parked that's not for when you're driving on the road but that's for powering up your trailer while you're parked you can do that here off the generator or off of shore power stainless steel treatment back here the liberty coach does can we see inside the power plant people a lot of folks request that this one the engine actually fell out of it so we don't <laughs> Belt guard we make as well to pretty things up here. Some people like it on there, some people don't. But we put it on there as a standard piece of equipment so you don't have all that stuff flopping around or whatever. This uh, grill that's here does not come polished. We polish that, put it back on. All the little things that we do that uh, add up. Sure. Absolutely. Um, Volvo D13? Volvo D13, 500 horse. 1,750 foot-pounds of torque, been a great engine. I mean, we just have not had engine problems. You get into the emission side of the world and the electronics that go with it, yes, there's been some issues here and there, but as far as engine-wise, we haven't had an engine problem. We had more issues going from Detroit Diesel to Detroit Diesel to Detroit Diesel than we ever had going from Detroit to Volvo. So one of the things about Liberty Coach that I really like is all of these exterior lights that you'll see around the coach at nighttime. They really light up nice. Now this coach has two lights on the back of the coach. Is right. that normal? That's or? Right. So you can light the whole world up back here, hooking up your car, you know, instead of having your headlights on the car on, what have you, hooking up your trailer, all of that. You've got a lot of light back here, plus they're dimmable. So, you know, when you're sitting out enjoying and want to light up the coach and show the coach, you can dim those down as well. So here we have the uh, fifth bay driver's side, the business side of the coach. This is where all your hookups are going to be typically at the resorts. So you've got your sewer hose hookup here gray water bypass. This is the 100 foot electric water hose reel. You also have a outlet for water here, uh, pressurized to uh, clean out, you know, the sewer hose, how, or do whatever you really want with it. It's cold water, tractable. Sewer hoses are located above. Now I'm noticing this bay has evolved a little bit more. You still have that signature copper piping, but it's not as much as I've seen in some of the previous coaches. Well, because the previous coaches had the city water inlet and also they had a holding tank washout tube. So now we have the city water being on the electric hose reel and now we have a valve mounted above that you turn on to wash out the holding tank, clean things up a little bit. Even though everybody really liked all that other stuff, we were able, when we did that, we were able to gain a little bit more on the fresh water tank capacity. Yeah, oh, I think it looks nice too. It's just a different kind of updated look. So. so fourth bay on the driver's side, this is a lot of real estate that we gained by doing the Volta system. If you'll recall on the other coach we did the walkthrough on, there was inverters in here, there was uh, batteries in here, there was all kinds of stuff in here. Now we've got all this gain in real estate. By centralizing the battery banks, we've got more battery. And I didn't do that comparison before, but on the Volta system, if you wanted to have the same amount of batteries on your typical 
gel battery that's an 8D size, you'd have to have 36 of those. Wow. Okay, first of all, there's not enough real estate in the bay to handle 36. Secondly, you don't have the weight carrying capacity to haul around 36 batteries, okay? Yeah. And out of 36 of them, what's your odds that one of those is gonna go bad pretty quickly, okay? So that's the difference. One of the other things that I really like that Liberty Coach does is there's shelving in these bays. So not only do you have the large pass-through bays up front, you have other bays with drawers in them. And then this bay has shelving, which just makes it much more user-friendly rather than having bins or totes. You can see there's a grill and a filing cabinet stacked here. And then you still have two shelves. Keeps everything really organized. Generator is going to be located here behind the nice Liberty Coach panel. Every coach gets a ladder. Oh, little giant. Same ladder I've always used for detailing. Right. Best, best ladder on the market, hands down. Every coach gets one. Nice. Second bay on the driver's side. Again, we've got our distribution panels here. We've got the what's called the battery management system for the Volta which tells us what the state of charge of the battery banks are at. This is how you can shut the coach down if you needed to. One thing that's very nice about this, the coach doesn't go dead, it just turns off, okay? So if the coach turns off, it's gonna be right around 18 to 20% on this, uh, it'll be an, actually it's an exact position, 18% of charge, it'll shut down. That still allows you enough battery power to be able to turn the system back on it can sit in that position for weeks and still be able to turn turn back on again so that you can charge it back up the other unique thing about it is, is if you're at sitting at a hundred percent of charge say the coach has to be shut down for some period of time because it's got something that needs to be done you need to shut it down you can leave it set that way for months and then come back and turn it on without having to worry about the battery banks being dead wow i've had the battery banks sitting in my shop for years that I did the first mule, if you will, when I was starting to play with this system. Two years goes by, I go up to them, they're still at 56 volts. Wow. It's ridiculous. Driver's side of the first bay again, all finished. Bravo service panel here. We also have front bumper. Drops down. And we have storage area here that we do. It's all finished. Oh, wow. It's all lighted. The uh, auxiliary air compressor mounted over here. That's almost like a hidden compartment yep, there. It sure is. You put stuff in there that you don't ever want to remember you have. <laughs> a bit more work to get into that compartment than the rest of the coach. Very cool. This coach does have the Volta system on it, so it'll have a 40 gallon water heater in place of the 20 gallon water heater. Uh, it has a 100 foot electric water hose reel. Uh, which again was part of the Volta system when we did that because we were able to gain some real estate in the bays by by going to their system. The other thing change is going to the uh, 12 and a half kW Onan generator from the 20 kW Kohler because once again I have a lot more energy here in these Volta packs than previous so I was able to balance out the load better and downsize on the generator which then made everything tier 4 compliant as far as the uh, exhaust situation without having to go to DEF. As many people know, the 20KW kind of almost basically went away because of that. So that's basically the changes that you'll see there. One of the other changes that I'm noticing um, over, like this this is a 2015 that we just filmed and I'll leave a link in the description below, but it's got the lighting that's a little bit different. The lighting around the windows in this is more of a straight light. What's Right, so that's part of the new look. When we get inside, uh, I was gonna mention that as well. We are diffusing the light now and being able to get it to look like a light beam as opposed to having the spots that has been around since the 80s, actually. Yeah, great. 70s or 80s. So, yeah, that's yeah. what we did. Cool, yeah, great looking coach. Let's not waste any time. Let's go inside and check this out because I am excited to see this. This is one of the nicest coaches on the market right now. I would say this and the other uh, 2019 Liberty coach are the two nicest on the market. Wow. So this is a very light interior, yep. uh, a different feel of really, what, what's, what, what am I seeing here? Well, there's a lot of cabinet changes. There's a lot of changes in the engineering, the cabinetry, the countertops being the way that they're kind of almost like a waterfall. 
uh, countertop arrangement. The dash on the coach, this has got the new cockpit in it that we did starting on the 2016 model year, which there's 18 different molds that were produced by my brother to be able to come to this point. The big iPad Pro in the dash, mounted in the dash. Yeah, and Frank did do a video all about the cockpit area on the Liberty Coach YouTube channel. I'll make sure to leave a link to that in the description below where Frank in depth explains all of these different systems. And if you haven't checked out Liberty Coach's YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe as well. For a number of changes that we did to be able to get a different look and different feel. And you know, you're talking about on the different YouTube part of it, there's a specific section there where Kurt and Kim go through the whole process of how they came up with the new look that we have. So it's well worth your time to, to go onto that channel as well and see that. But we ended up getting into a situation of a coach that feels bigger yet. Yes, this is a quad slide. This is the Prevo flat floor quad as well on the passenger side. Interesting how that works. That floor section drops down and then the slide goes over the top of that when the slide comes in. And again, when it goes out, then the floor comes back up and then it compresses together. The veneer finishes that we have in here, it's an open grain matte finish. There's a lot of that going on in the coaches that we do. You don't see the fingerprints. Uh, you have a real nice cabinet without having any reveal with full overlay. The interior of the cabinet is still the same size. Everything is finished. As you know, that's a tra trademark, of, trademark of Liberty Coach. Inside and outside is always going to be finished. And, and I've just got to point out how bright that is. A lot of coaches have lighting inside of the cabinets, but the Liberty coaches are extremely bright. You can tell they're not cutting any corners. The uh, ceiling treatment was completely redone. The air conditioning ducting had to change as well for the roof air units to accommodate the new ceiling systems. It was a lot of work to get to, to where we are here. Uh, backsplash arrangements that you can see the way that that's done, how the cabinet Edges are done with solid still. We do the solid moldings. Uh, the window arches um, change that from being the wood to being an upholstered piece. A lot of work to get this done here. This has to be all fit and then foam applied and then individually hand upholstered. Gives a little bit more quieter, softer feel to the interior of the coach as well. Paper towel holder, once again, the Liberty trademark. Where is it at? So it's still in this cabinet, but it's in this area right here. It's got a drop down to be able to put the paper towels up inside. And then I see you've even added a divider here yeah. so it's a little more separated. So you just can't run into it and get in the way. A sharp micro convection oven overhead. The paddle doors that go back. The lighting underneath the cabinetry was done the same way, diffused. So it all looks like a beam of light underneath. Same with underneath the counter or the uh, toe boards as well. We do a lot of tile work on the walls. So this is an accent wall here as well as on the forward part of the pantry cabinet here. We transition to contrast from the wood grain to the Lumicore material which is going back to a material that people will remember years and years ago called Vitricore. Similar material, thinner, a little bit different on the color, but even though we did that, this is still a solid wood molding piece here that's painted to match. A lot of work invested in that. Fisher Pytel uh, refrigerator freezer unit. Closet here, nice pantry, and again, you're going to like how it's all lighted, like you've mentioned in the past. And I'll also notice that not, not only is it carpeted, but that's a, a carpet that has a texture within it as well. And these doors too, I've got to point out, I've seen these doors in a couple Liberty coaches or, or similar uh, style, just a yeah, great the show, style. The show run treatment. Bathroom changed as well, you know, get the same look to it. Feels bigger, but your space is about the same. This is a bath and a half as well. And again, like every Liberty coach, the doors all solid. No rattle. Solid close, no rattle. Closet doors, the chevron treatment here again, lots of closet. 
It's a huge mid closet. Like this is the Dyson if you wanted to. <laughs> oh yeah, and plug it in. That's <laughs> different kind of design with the large closet in the middle of the coach. Is that because you have the bath and a half or? Yeah, we got the bath and a half here. We did lose the closet that's across the back because of the fact of doing this, the full toilet room, uh, enclosed toilet room back here. Um, we've got the standard size slides in the back back here. Still have a lot of window in the coach on either side. We have the flat charging ports here, inductive charging ports for your phones. Uh, we have towers here for uh, USB and also 110 plugs. Laminate that's on the back of the coach here was up on the refrigerator and through the hallway. And then, you know, upholstered panels, a different look here. These are all individually upholstered panels that are applied to the, to the wall. Both sides here gives you some ge geometric feel and also, you know, it's not just a flat wall, right? Yeah, and I have to mention, I have to mention how light of a feel it is back here. This whole coach has a very light, vibrant feel. And this is the hot ticket lately, the rear, the rear, the bath and a half with this huge rear bath. I really like all of the lighting. The ladies love the lighting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that same light theme throughout the the shower here. Well, the shower actually got larger feeling because of the, doing the straight walls in there compared to what we did before. This uh, alcove area here for your soaps and, and shampoos. The tower arrangement here to bring the plumbing and step for the ladies to be able to shave their legs, put their feet up. So I've spoken with a lot of Liberty Coach owners that talk about how the Liberty Coach drives different than other Prevo converters. What do you guys do that would make this drive differently than other coaches on the market? Well, you know, you're standing in a quad slide, so it becomes more of a challenge all the way around. You know, the reason being has to do with how we run our electrical systems, the wiring, all of the heavy gauge wire is under the floor level. Copper is heavy, so all of that's under the floor level. We were able to do that starting back in 2008 model year with the Moritz Octoplex uh, system, being able to just run everything on a CAN base uh, communication system with all the circuit breakers and everything heavy down below. So that brought the center of gravity down. We also balance the coach out properly, so if you were to weigh tire by tire, you'd be pretty amazed how closely they are in weight together. Um, the other part of it being too is, we this is a quad slide. You've seen our triple slides where we do two slides in the back, one in the front. We don't do triples with two in the front and one in the back because you've got an offset weight situation with the size of those slides. You might as well have the fourth slide in the back to offset some of the weight from the front. So then again, that's a way to balance front to rear. When you've looked and we've done the videos in our bays, you can see that our front two bays are empty. They're very light. The reason being is we're keeping the weight off the front end. You don't have as many tires on the front of the coach as you do on the back. So that's why heavy equipment goes to the back. So you just mentioned that this coach has the, lithi the Volta lithium ion system. How long have you guys been using that system for and what kind of success have you had with it? We have started, we started with the lithium ion Volta system in the 2017 model year. So that was coach 806. Uh, we are now up to coach 874. Okay, so we've got close to 70 coaches out there with it running. We have had absolutely zero failure on any uh, aspect of the batteries themselves. There's been zero. We've had we've had a, a, an occasional inverter unit that may have a hiccup that's no different than you may on any other coach but as far as the system working it's worked flawlessly on that aspect that system communicates continually in its own network as far as from the battery system the inverter charger system to the alternator system on the coach I mean you can set a coach here like this with one roof air on for 16 hours before the generator is going to want to start, charge the batteries back. That'll take about seven hours or just fire up the main engine, drive down the road for two and a half hours. You've got 20,000 kW of alternator power to charge those batteries back, those energy packs back. So the system is, as far as I can tell you, is second to none. As far as how long does it last, we believe, Volta believes as well, 
that the life expectancy on these battery packs, energy packs, is going to be as long or exceed the life expectancy of the Prevo shell. I mean, the Prevo shell is good for 25 plus years, okay, two and a half million miles. So it's just like an engine in your car. You get a 100,000 mile warranty on a car for four years, you expect that the engine is going to last more than 100,000 miles. Same thing is going to be, the, the, the same thing is going to hold true here. We can see. Yeah, and talking about the automotive industry, you've been pioneering it in the RV industry for 10 years, but have you used some of the technology and the wisdom from that the automotive uh, industry has gained through their R&D and, and transfer that over to Liberty Coast? Sure, sure. On the Volta side of it especially, uh, you're sitting here at a little bit different, higher level. There's different levels of lithium ion, and we're at a little bit different level here than you're seeing in what the car part of it is. But the Volta system came from Johnson Controls. They put a massive manufacturing facility in, in Holland, Michigan, specifically for the automobile industry. That was in 2008. Of course, we all know what happened in 2008, 9, and 10. So then they needed a different business model, look for someplace different, different avenue of putting the uh, units in. They came to us through Volta, and then we started using their technology. So the automobile side of the lithium ion technology is not going anywhere. It's billions of dollars of year, a year that's being spent. Manufacturing plants are being built. In fact, on the Liberty Coach Volta system that we do, every component that's in that is built in the United States. So you guys choose to use Dean Lauchs, a world-renowned artist for your paint jobs. No other converter has an artist paint every one of their paint jobs. I know how expensive Dean's artwork is. What made you choose to have such an expensive option on every one of your coaches since, was it 2013? Yeah. Yeah, why, why do you guys do that? So I was fortunate enough to be friends with Dean 30 plus years ago. And Dean was doing some specialty work for us where we had to have a mural done on a coach or for an example like the Randy Travis organization wanted the entire coach painted like an adobe village on the outside. So Dean did that work for us. Dean's the type of guy that when he said he would show up at your shop at 7 o'clock in the morning, he'd be there at 6.45 in the morning. And if it was supposed to be done in seven days, it would be done in seven days. Getting into 2010, 11, and 12, all of the coaches that were coming down the road were looking the same. The Newells, the, uh, the American Eagles, the, the Monacos, the Prevos, they were all looking the same coming down the road. And I wanted to do something different. So I went with Dean sat down and said, hey, let's do some design work that we can see Prevo put on the coach. After he started doing the designs on it, we quickly figured out that Prevo wasn't going to be able to do that because of how their business model is on paint. So we changed our production situation to have every coach flow through Dean's shop. So now we have been able to have an exquisite, unbelievable interior that Liberty Coach has been known for for so many years from the design work of my brother Kurt and his wife Kim to have an exterior paint job that complements that as well. So we're very fortunate to have that combination. And coming from where I had first met Dean, he was doing a lot of work in the in the marine industry, powerboat industry, offshore racing. And they've seen those boats that Dean has painted hold their value better than stock paint jobs. We can see that here in our industry as well. I mean, when you pull into a show or you pull into a rally of the different groups that we support, like the Road Hogs, the Bus and Biker, and the Prevo Proud Group, I mean, you immediately can tell a Liberty Coach, immediately. And they kind of all hang together, so it's kind of cool to see all these paint jobs all together. And we see that as well because we're able to value year models of coaches higher because of the Dean Laux paint jobs than the coaches that were done by Prevo. Now, Prevo did an excellent job. They, had, they stood behind their work, they always did. They stand behind the shell, even with Dean's paint on top of it, they still stand behind those aspects as well. But the value of the coach we can see is holding itself at a higher level with Dean's paint jobs for sure. Frank, I can't thank you enough for showing me and the folks on YouTube this incredible 2019 Liberty Coach. If someone is a serious buyer, first question is, how much how many millions of dollars do they need and the second question is who do they get a hold of 
Well, as far as the millions of dollars, you don't have to have a million dollars to own a Liberty Coach on some of our products. Some of it you do need to have a few, mil a couple million anyway. So it all depends on the unit. Um, you can go to our website. Uh, each one of our salespeople and myself, we have our email addresses, our phone numbers on there. If you want to contact us individually or generically, you can do that through Coach Sales at LibertyCoach.com on an email or dial us up at nine, uh, excuse me, 800-554-9877. We'll be more than happy to walk you through each coach um, and give you the pricing on each one as well, because each one is different. A Prevo is not the same as the next Prevo as the next Prevo. They're all different. Each one is custom in its own nature, and it has its own special story to it. That's why we don't post the pricing on our website on the coaches because of the fact that each one is different, and we want to make sure that you understand the differences of what a Liberty coach is to any other coach that there is out there. Thank you all for liking these videos and subscribing to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day.